Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj. Welcome back to Academia School Simulator. And I have had a bit of a nightmare with Academia. I have been fighting some bugs, some good and proper game crashing, killing bugs. So at the end of the last part, we saw I constructed this, although yes, it looks a little bit different now. We'll come to why it looks different shortly. Uh, we constructed that and then we went, uh, yes, stop the school year. And for some reason, it loaded up and it bugged out and it kept giving us uh, these ones, these problematic transfers, it kept awarding us that. So every, what, couple of seconds, it kept going, here you go, here's five grand advance, and here are five students. And it kept doing it, it kept going, bing, 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 and our student population went over a thousand, and obviously it bugged out. So I loaded it again. So I went back, I uh, thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll rebuild all this stuff, and we'll do that. So I did that, built it all again, press, press go to next year. It crashed, the whole game crashed, and I hadn't saved it, because you can't, as far as I was aware... You can't actually save it and then load it back while you're in the build phase, or so I thought. So I thought, right, okay, fine, I'll have to do it again. So then I did it again, so I built all this stuff again, and then started the new year, kind of similar to this, saved it. Then I thought, right, okay, I'll start recording. Tried to load it up, it went wrong. So so what I've had to do is, I have had to go into the candidate branch. So I'm running a slightly different version of Academia from Steam now. I'm running a, a sort of, not a test version, if you like. It's sort of been tested, but it's one they're planning to roll out. So, um, yeah, we'll see a few changes as we go through, as they run through little changes and little sort of uh, fixes and changes to the game. So, yeah, so I'm running a slightly different branch, and it means that it is working. At long last, it's working. But it also means that I've built this bit over here four times now. <laughs> I'm sick of the sight of this. I'm absolutely sick of the sight of this bit. Um, so I think it looks more or less the same. I think it's kind of the same sort of layout. There's a library and a clinic and a toilet. The only thing I changed was the music room was quite big. So I've put in fields here, and I kind of realised the indoor fields are effectively gyms. So I put a little bit of wooden flooring in because it looks like a sort of gym now. And I've done that to those ones there as well. So they're like little sort of gym, gym class areas because the fields are a bit weird. The fields are very, very odd. Here, look, goes door. Yeah, you've got a fence door. Ah, fence door. OK, there's no fence. There is no fence. <laughs> so, so I don't really understand what you're supposed to do. Uh, you would imagine that you have an outside bit with a fence but no so um yeah all our all our fields are going to be indoor ones you know outdoors no outdoor fields for you kids um so what else happens yeah that's slightly different that's absolutely fine we've got all that in um everything else is kind of the same the only change is on the candidate branch that i'm running on uh they in the science labs and the computer labs there has to be a chalkboard so i've put them in so to make those valid rooms because they were invalid rooms that is that sorted and um the big change the big change was our uh, grading, our school grading has gone a little bit wrong. Uh, if you remember before we went up to 100 and something or other, we were 270 seconds. We went up on the uh, previous time and we went up on a few of the other times that I'd done this as well before it all crashed and went wrong. Uh, this time around, candidate branch, no, <laughs> down, down from 270 second to 301st. Passing rate was B. Our, our seniors had an absolute shocker. I think they had a pass rate of 40% or something. I don't know why. I don't know if the, the, this particular branch makes it harder to pass things. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, cleanliness A, that's fine. Delinquency C, I've hired some extra monitors to do with that. Graduate pedigree F, yeah, that, that cost us money. That cost us four grand and a big bunch of prestige as well, which was a shame. So final grade B, we went down the rankings. That is a little bit irritating. So what have we got? What have we got now? We have 277 students, but our senior population is now 83 because I think they get held back. I think they kind of get held back until they pass and then they move on and they leave the school, which I don't know how long that goes on for. What if you just keep failing for, I don't know, 30 years? <laughs> what if after 30 years you still haven't passed? Are you still going to school? <laughs> I don't really understand. So, um, yeah, so they, we need to make sure that we've got now enough deaths. Now, I know I did this before. But then, um, you know, all the numbers and stuff have changed now. So, and, and then I need to get the right amount of transferees in. So what I'm going to do is uh, we've got uh, 69 freshmen coming in. So what we'll do is let's get this thing in because this is five freshman bullies and we can deal with those. It's absolutely fine. So we'll get that in. Bosh. Right. So that's come in. That's now got up to 74. So we need to make sure we've got enough for 74 freshmen, 69 sophomores, 56 juniors and 83 seniors, which does worry me a little. We might have to cram some more chairs into the senior classrooms, possibly. But um, yeah, we'll see what we can 
do. What classroom is that? Is that junior or senior? That's a senior as well. Okay, I think we might be okay. So, uh, as I did before in the last part, but, you know, it, it feels a little bit like deja vu. Uh, yeah, let's go through and do this again. Let's go and do some counting of chairs. And I should come back once I have done counting. Ah, but maybe I do not need to do some counting because just here is a new reports page. And it shows you all the different classrooms you've got and you can order them by year level. So I can actually see the different class sizes. How intriguing. And I can see the weird sort of anomaly we've got. We've only got three classrooms for the, um, for the whatever they are, juniors. Which is a bit weird. All the other ones have got four except the juniors have got three. So yeah, we might want to throw in an extra classroom or two for those guys at some point. Because that's just going to make everything a bit sort of wonky in terms of, in terms of sort of numbers and stuff. And um, also you can see the teaching bonus. And I assume... The teaching bonus is down to the um, is down to the amount of students that are in a room. So this classroom here, 21 students, they get a plus nine boost to all their things they're learning. So look, that PE goes from 90 in classroom 10 up to 99. I mean, that's very, very good. Whereas uh, the classroom of 24 goes to plus six bonus. And down here, a classroom of 30 has a zero bonus. So there's no negative impact on having quite a big class. But yeah, it's it's you don't get actually any bonuses at all. It just it's the power of the teacher. It's whatever the teacher can teach you is what you learn. Now that's intriguing. I don't know if that was part of all this before. I don't know if this was part of of how this worked beforehand and we just didn't see it, or if there's a new thing. I don't know. But that's quite intriguing. Oh yeah, 28. Look, it's still yeah. So 28 is good. So that's fine. So that's intriguing. Now that works quite well with something we've got there. So what I've done is I've added up all the numbers from there. So we've got ourselves capacity for 93 freshmen and sophomores. So we could get a few more of those in. 78 juniors and 116 seniors. Now, do I want to fill up the classrooms? Do I want to absolutely load the classrooms out and fill them up with like loads and loads of students? Or do I just get us a modest amount and try and keep the sort of education levels high? I'm kind of thinking we do that. We get ourselves 7,919 per day which is quite a nice amount of money now i will have to start doing stuff up here i want to get another canteen up here and these are all going to be student these are going to be classrooms so if we do all that we're going to need to get ourselves some more teachers which would be good but they cost quite a bit of money but yeah we need another cafeteria because that one is just too busy i think so we're gonna have a little sort of cafeteria just here staff cafeteria there kitchen and then what was that the staff room the staff lounge and the faculty lounge. We're going to be just there. So staff lounge, faculty lounge, whichever way around. Those are going to be classrooms. So yeah, what do I want to do with these then? So I probably do want to get some more in. So currently we've got 74 freshmen. Well, should we get that up to 80? Let's get the first two up to 80. So we're going to need six freshmen, like so, when they come in. Arrival today. Ah, okay, right, good. So they're in from the start. Do you want to get 80? Yeah, let's try and get, in fact, no, why don't we get up to 85 and have 85 students, 85 in each year? That would make sense because we can't, oh no, we can't because the, the juniors can only have a maximum of 78. There are less juniors. Oh, this is very complicated. Oh, I'm not very good at numbers. Um, yeah, let's just make them up to 80 then. So we'll have 11 of you guys. 11. Uh, juniors, we will, we've got 56 and we can have 78. So let's get a few more juniors in. So let's get ourselves, uh, I don't know, up to 70 maybe. So let's get 14 of those. That's nice. Oh, look at the money we're going to get per day. Yeah, we can afford some teachers. We can get maybe a couple more teachers for that. Yeah, we're getting quite a nice bit of profit. And um, seniors, I don't, do we want any more seniors? We can cope with 116. There's 116 classroom, so in classroom size. So why don't we just get seven more of those to bring that up to 90. And hopefully they'll all pass and it'll all be brilliant and lovely. So we should get ourselves an extra 3,800 a day. So we'll get 10 grand a day plus 11,700 kind of just, you know, as a big flat fee, which will be very welcome indeed. Okay, so let's run time on. That will then go up. We should get a big student population. 320. Okay, and now another thing they've introduced. Stuff breaking. So look. This is now needs to be repaired, which is fine. And sink is almost broken. So stuff actually breaks and we have to go through and repair it. Now, I assume at some point they're going to put in a, um, a sort of permanent 
uh, if anything is broken, go and repair it, please, feature. Because that does get a little bit annoying when I was doing all the building work. Stuff kept popping up saying, hey, the sink's broken, the bench is broken, the thing's broken. Which I just mend things. Just please mend things. So, um, oh my goodness. In come the hordes of children. Oh, also, this we might want to expand our delivery zone a little bit. It looks like it's getting quite full. Um, yeah, let's expand that a little bit. Where would that be? Admin? Possibly? All. Where would the delivery zone be? There, delivery. Uh, so, yeah, let's drag that out a bit like that and make it go one back as well, like so. And what floor is that? Just concrete. A concrete tile. A beautiful concrete tile. So, uh, yeah, let's go get ourselves a concrete tile. And let's just make that like that. And down to there, just have a bigger delivery area. Garbage, I think is absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. Okay, it's all looking good. It's all looking good. Oh, dearie me, there are delinquents queuing up in the principal's office. Bertram Buzelli, behave. And Arnold Talaga, 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 you also behave. Oh, Bertram's being kept behind. Oh, Bertram's being properly told off. Yeah, I'd be scared of her. Jamie Ritson, yeah, I'd be scolding. <laughs> oh, my, oh, oh my goodness me. Now, Junior Funner. Uh, uh, excuse me, Cleaner, could you clear off? And then, and then whatever your name is, I can't read. Dale Caffery. And that, what is going on? And then Louise White. And then Magnus. Magnus. Magnus Ravenbeard. I had high hopes for you, young man. I had high hopes for you. And you are being rowdy. You need to be put in your place, my good sir. Another one. <laughs> okay, right. We've got a lot of rowdy kids going on. Okay. Can you have more than one principal? Uh, can we send them to the councillors, please? There you go. Look, they're being set straight. Right, okay. A sofa is almost broken. Oh, this could this could get a little bit tedious, this fixing of things. This could get a little bit annoying. Bookshelf is almost broken. I, I assume when something ha does break, it just falls apart. I assume it literally just collapses and is not there anymore. Um, bookshelf is almost broken. Did I repair that already? Possibly. Um, that's a bookshelf. That's a canteen bench. Can you repeatedly... Ah, you can repeatedly tell them to mend it. Okay, that's, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? You can waste a lot of money on that. Okay. So all this over here is looking good. Now, how's all this looking over here? And our new bit, so the common area, is looking good. The music people, look, they've, they've got their guitars doing some music stuff. They're returning the musical equipment. Weird enough, they're wandering out to the common area with it and playing some music, but that's fine. The library, there were kids in the library, that's good. Canteen bench is almost broken. Yeah, I can see this being very tedious. I can see that being really irritating, if I'm completely honest. The only way I could get it working was to put this version on. Okay, so that's looking good. That bench needs to be mended. Or are you mending the bench, Hammerski? Yeah, okay, Hammerski's mending the bench. He's on it. He's on it. He's on the bench. Good. Okay, so what we now need to do is, I think, we need to work on this bit up here. Now, we've got 164 grand. We have 164 grand, which is fantastic. So I think we can probably get all that done. Oh, in case you're wondering why there's a door just here, the builders... Because there's no way out. They, they can't get out. If they do this, they, this is just this is the ex vast expanse of non-existence. So they can't go out. So uh, what they kept doing was building the walls along here and then ending up on this side of the wall and being trapped. So I was like, okay, demolish the wall. Then demolish the wall. And then uh, I'd go, right, build the wall. And they build it again. And then appear on that side again. Because clearly the builders are idiots. So yeah, I had to put a door in. Which is not brilliant because it just looks a bit stupid. But never mind, we'll get rid of that. So I think we can build this whole bit. I think we can get that whole bit done. Now, the only thing is, I think that will probably take most of this year. Because the builder guys are seemingly very slow. Now, I might hire an extra couple of workers. 100 a day. Let's get two extra workers on board. Just because I think this is going to take a long time. This is going to take an awfully long time. Right, so demolish that. Demolish that. And demolish that. So they can go. Now, hopefully they can come in and do that fairly pronto. Yeah, okay, a truant's been caught. Toilet cubicle is almost broken. Yeah, that is going to sink, is almost broken. Mm, it'd be nice if we could have an... Oh, oh, you're, oh you're on the toilet. Uh, <laughs> did it just say urinating? Just, just they're using the toilet would be fine. Oh, hang on a moment. Toilet cubicle is almost broken. Bench is almost broken. Uh, bench is almost broken. Oh, my goodness me. And, and that bench is almost broken. Uh, okay, right. A lot of stuff seems to be breaking. Okay, fine. Oh, we're we're going to be doing so much repairing of things, aren't we? It's going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to repair some stuff. Um, yeah, they, they build relatively slowly. Right, they've done that though, which is good. So uh, yeah, let's get these walls put in. But I think it's going to take ages. I think they're going to be going for absolutely ages building this stuff. I think we might just need to sort of speed time on and just get it finished. But yeah, so if we do that, 
down to there, that down to there, that across there, that across there, that down to there. Lovely. And then this also needs some lovely walls, like so. These can be small classrooms, because I want them to be classrooms. So there we go. And then we want doors. I'm going to put doors on these things, or else everything will go a bit weird. So door, door, door. Flip that round. Door, door, and door. So right, so that's all sorted. That's fine. Um, this is the this is going to be the canteen, cafeteria. So we'll have a door to the kitchen, just there. And then we'll have a door from the kitchen to the staff cafeteria just there. And then what we'll do is we'll have, we'll get rid of that single door. And we'll have two double doors going into the canteen like that. And then this is the going to be the staff room and the faculty office or whatever it was. So you can have one door going into there. And then you guys can have a door at the bottom just there. So that should, that should mean that all the rooms have got doors so they can't get stuck and do something really stupid. And we've got all the outlining done so the blueprinting can all be erased, which is lovely. There we go. So yeah, now we can see it's going to be proper. Um, right, and let's zone these things out. Let's zone them out whilst we're here. Whoa, <laughs> a little bit of excessive zooming going on there. Right, nutrition. So this is going to be a kitchen. This is going to be... A staff cafeteria. And this is going to be a studenty cafeteria. Splendid. Nice and big. Nice and big. Because that thing just gets hideously busy. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, and then we want services. No, is it admin? Yeah. So, a staff lounge. Uh, put it at the top or the bottom? The bottom. Why not? Let's put it there. And then a faculty lounge can go just there. Okay. So, that's cool. And then classrooms. Okay. We need more junior classrooms so if we had one of each that's fine and then we put more so if we have three junior classrooms and then one freshman one sophomore one senior that should then redress that balance a little bit that'll redress that balance in fact that'll give them an extra one which is fine so let's have uh freshmen just there and these are going to be nice small classrooms this is good uh sophomores juniors all the junior classrooms yep three of those in fact no not that side like that. And then a senior classroom in here. And they're going to be very small. Yes, I know they're going to be teeny tiny. But that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Yeah, it's going to take them so long to get some of this stuff done. So long. Now that, not so concerned about that right now. I'd rather have this in. I'd rather have the cafeteria and stuff sorted. Oh, it gets to 8pm, by the way. Each day now on this particular version, 8pm is when the day ends. So, day two of the school year rolls around. Is it still nine? Yeah, so it's still nine days. Okay, so um, senior classes do not have teachers. That is a bit worrying. Why? Why, 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 why? They had them yesterday, unless the teachers are ill. Uh, freshmen's have all got teachers. Sophomores have all got teachers. Juniors all seem to have teachers. Seniors. Seniors do not. Seniors have no PE and no art and no PE and no language. Right, okay. We need to go through and get ourselves some more teachers, I rather suspect. Let's go on, hire some teachers. Now, another thing I think they might have done in the uh, sort of upcoming version, the version I'm running is, they've made the three-tier teachers maybe not quite as powerful. For example, Dion Sebek is a little bit rubbish except at history, yet he's quite expensive. So he's very good at history, which is fantastic. A bit rubbish at everything else, whereas before, the three-star guys were really good, or three, whatever they are, rosettes or something, were really good. Everything. They were very, very good. Now, the ones that have this little special badge here are normally 100 in something. So she has... Madeleine Oi has 100 science. And Sajik Novak... Is that no Slack Novak? Have they put him in the game? <laughs> That's brilliant. He's very, very good. He, he did a lot of Sim Airport stuff. He's a YouTuber who did Sim Airporty stuff. And I think he covered this... Uh, you know, when it was in an earlier version a long time ago. Yeah, no Slack Novak. Wow, there he is. He's good at languages, apparently. There we go. So, yeah, I think they've made it far more difficult to find better teachers without paying through the nose. So, like, you know, I have to sort of go here. Now, yeah, math. You're okay at math. That's good. Uh, another thing they do that's changed, uh, you go to here and you hire someone. They put it, it puts it straight into the department you've selected. So, I've picked math. We'll hire you because 79 is good. 566 per day is a nice price. So, there you go. 
So Danny Urgen has now joined the math team. So we need to do the same for everyone else. Can we get people that are really not really awful? Right, let's find some more people. Um, Gail Narwood. Oh, he's good at math. We don't need you. PE. We'll have you. 75. You're good at PE. That's fine. You're okay at PE. Buster Tibbets. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good name. Uh, we'll have you in history. That's fine. Who else can we have? Uh, math. No, Chris. Chris Honbun is very good at science. Do we go for one superstar person do we go for a superstar scientist chris honburn he looks cool he's got like cool hair and a beard and a, a t-shirt with a t on it even though his name is chris honburn so i don't know what the t stands for but that's fine oh but look madrout stowe madrout stowe is also good at science in fact what's the 811 800 but you cost 100 more to buy and you cost more per day Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely having Madrout Stowe. Madrout Stowe looks even more dapper. Yeah, let's have a superstar scientist. Let's have one really good science person. Uh, yeah, let's hire you. Why not? There we go. And we've still got ourselves 124 grand to play with. And uh, we still get just over 9,000 per day. <laughs> so we're okay. We're okay. So we need an artist. Is there anyone good at art that, that isn't really expensive? Uh, no, let's find some more people. Uh, you're good at art. You're okay. 82. Uh, 677 per day. Uh, yeah, looks like you might have to do Peter Green's coming in his, in his vault tech jumpsuit. That's nice. Um, ooh, you're very good at history. We do not need a historian. Let's get you in on the art. So you can go and join the art team. And then it's just language. We just need someone that's good at language. Is there anyone that's really good at language? Can we just even have one of the superstar people as a language person? You, Everly, Everly Lee. <laughs> that's just confusing. Tanika Cipriani. No, not you. Um, oh, you're all good at PE though. How good are our PE people? 666 per 87. Oh no, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. 76, 75, 90 and 75. Okay, yeah, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good. Do we get rid of your 100 more per day? Yeah, no, we could go through and revolutionise the teaching staff, couldn't we? We could certainly get rid of Ashley Gardecki, who's got a P of 75, and get Josh Durmam with a P of 87. I think we do that. Let's start removing some of these people. Yeah, let's fire you for 566 per day, and we'll hire you. That's fine. So there we go. So yeah, we'll still get 8,000... 473 per day and we've made our PE teaching a bit better which is good right art Catherine of Sky 75 you are rocking 78 75 82 yeah I think you're all okay let's should we take someone out and give them a good art person we're gonna hire you actually we're gonna hire Everly Lee to go and do language ta-da there you go you can go and do that that's lovely yeah you, oh you're good at language as well Madeline, oh yeah, 77, 97 or 77. Now we could get rid of you, Melody Paniac. You're not very good at anything else. We could hire you, Madeline, oh yeah, 7,100 to sign, 788 per day. That's an extra 300 per day, but you are far better. And our results will go up so much. So let's get rid of you. Uh, yeah, get rid of you, Melody Paniac. Yeah, and we'll have... Uh, who was the person that I just... Who did I just have up there? Oh, yeah, Madeline Oi. So, yeah, let's have you, Madeline Oi. You can come in there. Oh, look at that. We've got two superstar people doing language. This is very cool. Um, math, 78, 75, 93, and 79. Okay, that's okay. I'm happy with the math numbers. Language is 77, 97, 100, and 100. Wow. Uh, science is 93, 67, that's not very good, is it? Um, I don't know. Am I looking at the right one? No, no. I'm not looking at the wrong, right thing. 76. So we've got 99 for science. 76, 78, and 100. That's pretty good. History. We've got ourselves 78, 70. Oh, that's not brilliant, is it? I wouldn't mind a bit more history. So who's good at history? You're good at PE. You're good at PE. Can we have someone that's good at history, please? You're good at math. That's fine. You're good at science. Who's good at history? Novak. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Yes. Fire Carly Lukau and hire Noslat Novak. That's brilliant. We've got Noslat Novak on board. This is tremendous. Um, 
maybe each department should have a, a superstar a superstar teacher because that'd be quite fun that'd be great oh why isn't Catherine of sky one of the superstar ones that's a shame i like Catherine of sky uh, art uh, we've got 75 78 75 and 82 i am quite happy with that but i mean we could always get rid of somebody and replace them with a superstar artist if we have one have we got a superstar artist available I uh, know you're a superstar math person. You're a superstar scientist. Uh, let's just find more. I'm sure we'll find one. Uh, your languages. You are art. Oh, there you go. So Conart Williams. We could get rid of one of these. We could get rid of Johanna Weiss. Because she's got art 75. Whereas Venus Sorin is not as good at other things. But she has art 78. So yeah. 82 and 75. So yeah. So uh, yeah. I can't get rid of Catherine of Sky. I can't get rid of Catherine of Sky. I'm not firing her. So let's fire you, Johanna Weiss. And let's get ourselves Conart Williams in to the art department. Beautiful. And then PE. 76, 75, 90 and 87. Okay, so we'll get rid of either Candice Mint or Eve Dizel. It's going to be Eve Dizel. Uh, who's good at PE? You're good at math. You're good at language. Have we got a PE person, please? Oh, yeah, you. Sean Vanilla. Yeah, okay. So we'll get rid of you. And we'll put Sean Vanilla. Put him into there. Beautiful. So each of our departments now has at least one superstar person in with this little... What's, what does that mean? What is that? Degree. Oh, it's their degree kind of level. Ah, okay. So, right, hang on. So one star is bachelor's. A two is a master's. A three is a doctorate. And a, and a little sort of starred rosette thing is a, is a uh, special. <laughs> whatever that means. So language, we've got one superstar person. Math, math we haven't actually. We have not. 93, 78, 75, 70. Yeah, okay, let's get a math person in. You, uh, Aisa Eranetta can go in for Abby Joan Morris. So get rid of you and then put you in. We might as well have the best available teaching staff that we can have right now. Yeah, we spent quite a lot of money on actually... Uh, I'm hiring people, but that's fine. Uh, science, we've got a superstar. History, we've got one. Art, we've got one. PE, we've got one. Beautiful. Now, I hope we've got enough people to teach everybody because we've got a load of extra people around. So, yeah, I think now there are enough teachers. Right, good. And the teachers are better. Hang on, what are these guys doing? Sleeping on the floor? Josh Durham, why don't you go home? Oh, you're having some issues, Josh. It's fine. T come and talk to me about it later. It's fine. Um, okay. So let's speed time on. We need to get our builder guys to finish working on all this stuff. And then we have hired two extra builder guys. Oh, sofa is almost broken. Uh, this so sink is almost broken. Mm, I don't know if I particularly like if I like that particular feature. But there you go. Sink is almost broken. Both those sinks are almost broken. I see that's almost broken. There's a bullying incident. There's everything. Canteen bench is almost broken. Ah, <laughs> this. There's 12 million billion things going on. Okay, hang on. Slow time down. What's going on? That sofa. Repair that, please. What else is going on? A bookshelf is almost... How, many... How does one break a bookshelf? What are the children doing to bookshelves in order to break them? Urinal. Sink. Okay, right. Good. Coffee machine is almost broken. Oh, now, now we are talking important things. Yeah, we definitely need one of those. We need that to work. Uh, okay, computer is almost broken. Oh my goodness me. Someone get us a handyman. Get us some handyman that can just go around and fix this stuff automatically. Kitchen sink is almost broken. Why is everything breaking quite so readily? I don't know. Okay, let's go through here. They built the walls. Yeah, they're getting on with the walls quite nice actually. That's that's okay. This is looking good. This is looking good. So they're doing all that. Oh god, to toilet cubicle is almost broken. Yep, sink broken. Uh, what else? The sofa that sofa now that seriously the staff what are you doing to the sofas i don't want to know what you're doing to the sofas in order to break them quite so readily goodness me toilet cubicles are broken can we just can we just auto repair things is that a thing we can set just say yeah mend everything please because i don't want to have to keep clicking on all these things um also the cleaners need to be getting on with this come on cleaners there's mess all over. don't just clean one bit of mess and wander off there's clearly pools of whittle, pools of pee on the floor. <laughs> Please sort that out, cleaners. Or just stare and just stand and look at it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could just stand and look at the look at the puddles of wee on the floor. I mean, that that would be something that you could certainly do that would make me want to fire you immediately. But there you go, you're you're doing that there. Rock on, you guys. Okay, so now 
Well, let's sort this out. We've not got, we've got enough money. We've got sufficient funds. So let's go through and do the floor. So let's put time as normal. So the cafeteria has, what kind of floor was it? Just the wooden, the wooden floor. Now this is weird. This is very odd. Wood panel floor appears in floors, as you might imagine. It's fine. Uh, outdoors has got nothing exciting to do with floors. It's got paving and stuff. But yeah, so in here, you've got this here. Those sets of floorings. Those there. No wood. And then along here, you get wood panel floor. If you go to all and go along. Do, 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 just there. Wooden floor. That doesn't appear anywhere else. <laughs> there is no other wooden floor except in the all list. I don't quite know why it doesn't appear. It's not in carpets. It's nowhere apart from in all, which is a bit weird. Anyway. So wooden panel flooring onto here. They're still actually not quite finished, are they? They're not put the doors and stuff in everywhere. So they're not quite finished. Oh, this guy's got himself stuck. You spoon. Ah, unbelievable. <laughs> right, uh, that can go into the kitchen. That can be like that. That can be like that. So that's the cafeteria done. The kitchen. Now, there is a kitchen floor. Kitchen tiles. I'm going to put them in the kitchen because I quite like that idea. The kitchen tile can go there. And I'm going to retile that kitchen floor. Because I want to. So there and there. To keep the kitchens nice and consistent. Staff cafeteria is also the wooden panel flooring from there. Which is lovely. So that's good. Also, do you know what? Let's put a door in from the outside there. To get to the staff cafeteria. Let's put a door just there as well. And go and find the uh, wooden flooring. Wood panel. Is that the same as the other wood panel floor? Yeah. The wood panel floor, just there. And then faculty lounge and staff lounge. What flooring did they have? Staff lounge was yellow and faculty was yellow and violet. So staff was yellow, faculty was violet. A delightful violet floor. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, violet floors for the faculty. Right, you are. Jolly good. And carpets, yellow for the staff lounge. Right, you are. And then we need blue carpet floor to go everywhere else. Because that needs to be blue. That needs to be blue. We need to have the blue carpets going all the way along there. Blue carpet down to there. And then blue carpet along that little bit there. And then the glass rooms then need to have themselves the diagonal floors. Which we will put in like that. And like that. And like so. Oh, there's an awful lot going on. There's an awful lot of expense going on. I should be okay, I think. Uh, and then we want the blue to go into the doorways because that looks silly if it's just mud under the doors because that's not very good, is it really? And also, I can see some, um, I can see some blueprinting under there. We don't need that now. Ta-da! Goodbye, blueprints. Splendid. Okay, so now we just need to rush time on until they've done some of this. I want to get the flooring and stuff in. When we could, in theory, start to. Oh my goodness me. Toilet cubicles. Yeah, we need to mend the toilet cubicles. Uh, canteen benches. Right, okay. So there's only one canteen bench. Oh, no, that one's breaking, is it? Okay, urinal and sinks. Okay, so there's a toilet cubicle. That sink is nearly broken. That's nearly broken. Um, is that it? Is that everything? Well, what happens if it does break? Do you tell me? Do you tell me if it's broken? I really hope you say it. The thing is broken. Oh, another bookshelf is broken. Stop climbing on the bookshelves, kids. They're not for climbing on. Stop it. Stop this madness. Um, and also along here as well, we want to put some lockers. Let's expand the uh, locker provision. Soon we've got some extra kids in school. Let's put lockers on both sides like that. Yay. Right, okay. So that's looking good. Don't want to put lockers along here quite yet. We can put lockers all the way along this side, though. Because nothing's going to go down there. So let's just fill that with lockers. Splendid. Now I think. Let's make a staff lounge. At least they can go in and use that. Yes the floor isn't done. And it's mud and shrubs. But that's fine. The staff can go and learn about nature. It's fine. So objects. Staff lounge. Sofas. Tables. And all that kind of stuff. So um, okay. Put a, tape, put a couple of tables in. Like that. Across the top. They can have chairs. People can sit across them and do, and, and, and do stuff and talk work or whatever. I don't know. Coffee machine can go in the corner. Um, let's have a sofa. Uh, let's have a sofa facing that way. Um, I kind of wanted two sofas there, in fact. Let's have that and that. 
Get rid of the coffee machine just there. The coffee machine can go behind the sofas. Clear the coffee machine. Um, oh, I've cleared the floor tile. Not No, don't clear the floor tile. Where is it? Carpet yellow. Put the yellow floor tile back in. Coffee machine can go there because in objects, if you go to all, I think there is a telly. Is there a television somewhere? Have I made that up completely? TV. There you go. When teachers are feeling lazy, they can just show a movie. Oh, they go into the classrooms, do they? Oh, that's cool. But you know what? I don't know if that makes any difference right now. I'm going to put a television just there. Yay, there we go. And staff lounge. Uh, let's put another sofa facing that way and another one just there. So there we go. So the staff lounge is looking pretty good. Uh, and then let's get ourselves a faculty lounge. Oh, the TV goes into the faculty lounge as well. Okay. Uh, we'll do the same kind of thing. Let's do that like that. Um, they don't have chairs at their tables. Okay. Don't quite know why, but okie doke. Let's try and mimic the very same thing that we did just there. Maybe we can put them a bit nearer, actually. There you go. Have a telly just there. That's quite nice. There. No, that's a telly. Sofas can face back to back. Lovely. Microwave can be beside the door. And the coffee machine can also be beside the door. And then we can have another sofa just there chilling out and then we want to get ourselves yeah why aren't there chairs why aren't there chairs there's tables but no chairs that strikes me as immediately weird but okay that's fine do that and that right and now just just blast time on because they've got loads to do they've got so much work to do oh goodness me everything is broken okay i get it everything is falling apart everything is just destroying itself repair that repair the sink don't use a sink that's broken don't lose this thing that's broken. It will go everywhere. Um, canteen bench is almost broken. I've repaired the canteen bench. Is there anything else that's broken? Any of the broken things? I don't think so. Oh, oh, it, easels. The easels are nearly broken. Oh, that easel is broken. Easel is broken. Right. How on earth are they breaking the easels? Oh, my goodness me. Okay, yeah, they need to sort that out. I wonder if in another version they'll sort out some sort of auto-repairing thing. Because that, that is a bit tedious. Can you be set to auto-repair? No, you most certainly cannot. Okay, okay, let's check our reports thing. Let's have a look what's going on in there. Classroom 16 has got class size of zero. Yay! <laughs> let's let's go there. Let's go and look at this classroom. Yeah, that's the best classroom. You get a massive bonus for, working, for learning in there. Um, okay, other reports... Yeah, look at that. Classroom 8, 106 math learning ability. That is brill skills. Okay, please come back. Please come back. Oh, okay, good. Um, Can we sort by that? Oh, we can. I see. So classroom... Oh, these top ones don't really count. So the best one we've got for math is 8 and 3. That's very cool. I like that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got some good... We've got some good learning going on. We might want to assign another detention room, possibly. Let's have uh, classrooms. So that's a year four. Let's have uh, classrooms. Where's one, two, and three, and four? What's the ones by the door? So one, two, uh, one, two. What's that? One, two, and four. That'll probably do. That'll probably do. Where's classroom three? There. So classrooms one, two, three, and four, which are the ones down here. I think that's fine. Oh, everything is just falling apart. Everything is falling apart. We need more things that aren't falling apart. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Refrigerators. They're probably important to repair. They're probably very important to repair. Stove is almost broken. Okay. Another toilet cubicle is broken. That, that I can understand. Toilet cubicles in a school needing some maintenance. I am, I'm all on board for that. I think that's a thing that probably would be true. However, all this other stuff. No. Bit tedious. Little bit tedious having to repair every single item in the entire school but there we go canteen bench right what's going on 320 yeah i'm gonna get to the end of the year before they finish doing all this stuff they've not even started doing the staff lounge stuff yet look not even got to that point canteen bench is broken oh no how will we cope uh okay. and and repair that as well please okay staff cafeteria we could we could lay that out now couldn't we the staff cafeteria could certainly be be laid out so we could have ourselves the food counters across the top like that 
plate counters. Oh, it's going to go to the next day, isn't it? Uh, in fact, no, don't do that. I have three food counters, but let's let it skip to the next day first. Here we go. So, yeah, three food counters across the top is going to be what we want when it comes back. So, three food counters, three plate things. One, two, three. Vending machine, probably just there, just for fun. And then how about a trash bin in the corner? Like that. Uh, there, yay! And then go into cafeteria, and we just want to get ourselves. Oh, yeah, vending machines in there now. Um, tables. So let's have a table and a table and a table and a table, and then benches. More stuff for me to have to repair repeatedly. Yay! Oh, look at it. look at the amount of things. You have a rowdy student. All the toilets are broken. All those sinks are falling apart. No, now I've clicked on a student. Mend the sinks, mend the sinks, mend everything. Okay, I think uh, easel is almost broken. Really? Again, I think we might need to hire some more builder guys. If they're the ones going out and doing all this maintenance, and I've got them building loads of stuff as well, that probably isn't going to help much, is it? Oh, look, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, yeah. Tedious clicking on all these things. Just an auto repair option would be absolutely fine about now. Bookshelf's nearly broken. Um, nothing in the classrooms breaks, I notice. No, you know, no classroom chairs or anything. No principal's office. In the in the staff rooms, they are seem to be. They seem to be vandalising things quite spectacularly. Uh, sofas. That thing there. Is everything now fine? Have we mended everything that's falling apart? I think we may have. I think we may have. Oh. Green students waiting for treatment, waiting for treatment, uh, diagnosing, waiting for treatment. Do you know what? Should we get ourselves another, get ourselves some more nurses? Uh, yeah, we'll get oh, 1,200, 133 a day. I oh, know. Do you know what? Get two more nurses on board. Absolutely. Get more nurses. That's a cool thing. Oh, my goodness me. It's ridiculous. Uh, and let's get ourselves some more worker people. One, two, and three. Just go and do repairing, please. Go and finish everything. Go and finish all of the jobs that need doing. Repair all of the things. So they finished up here. Nearly. They're nearly done. Let's line out the kitchen whilst we wait. And all that stuff can fall apart. It's fine. Whatever. Um, so kitchen sinks, refrigerators and stoves. So uh, yeah, they're going to want refrigerators across the back wall. Uh, they're going to want kitchen sink. Maybe two of those... On that side, possibly. Can we fit them there? They're three and three. Oh, they're, they're bigger than you. They're big. They're big. They're quite big. Let's take that out. Uh, no, no, no. Take take that out. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Flip that round. Put the kitchen sink there. Have another fridge. We need another kitchen sink, really. Um, let's put another one there. So two places to wash up. Two places to store stuff. Uh, stoves across the wall just there. Do we have another refrigerator across that wall? Like that. And then stoves. One, two, three. Splendid. Nice compact kitchen. It's got all the stuff they need. That is lovely. Cafeteria. Let's make this look good. So, uh, yeah. Right next to there. One, two, three of those. Is that enough food things? Let's have four. Why not? And then four. Four plate counter thingamabobs. We'll stick a vending machine in the corner. Why is that a different colour to everything else? Why is that tile a different colour? What's going on there? Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Cafeteria. It's... Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I don't understand what's going on there at all. Have they not done the flooring? Oh, it's it's bits of floor they haven't quite done yet. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, right, cafeteria. And then we just need lots of tables. We need lots and lots of tables. How can we maximise the tables? So four and four doesn't really work like sideways. So we'll have to do it like that and like that. And then just along. Oh, can we have it there? Can we have it there? Do you know what? We might be getting away with it if we do that. I know it's next to the that thing, but that's... Uh, is that going to interfere? That might interfere. Let's have it just going along like that. Oh, that's perfect. There you go. That's loads of space. That's lots of space. That's absolutely fine. And then we can have bench there and a bench there. Could we 
Get rid of that, 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 that. Put benches along like that. I think that has to kind of go like that. That's fine. Then if we get canteen table like that, can we put canteen tables there as well? No. Oh, that's a little bit tedious, isn't it? Never mind. I'll get rid of you. Yeah, we'll do that like... Get off like that then. That's still more than we've got. That's still better provision of uh, of canteen space. That's what? How many is that? Eight per table. Eight, 16, 32, uh, 64, something. 80 seats or something like that. Something like that. It's 80-ish seats. So that should be nice. Uh, and let's just pop a trash bin into the corner up there as well. Yay. Right, okay. So that whole bit now is sort of waiting just to be finished. And I think, I genuinely think we're going to get, by the time they finish doing all that, because they're still working on the floor with their slightly haphazard approach to how they do this, um, I think we're going to be at the end of the year. So what I might do is, I know this is a bit weird, because obviously we're going to go, we've just started year three, and we've just been speeding through getting this done. I think I'll just leave it running and see if we can get any of this finished, because it seems to me they're still working on the floor in a rather odd sort of way. Computer's almost broken. <laughs> ah! Okay, vending machine. Oh, vending machine is almost broken. That, that, that's quite important. That's very important there. Um, 107 students are absent due to sickness. 107 students. That's quite a lot of ill children there. And bear my clinics are empty. The, the beds are not all full. Don't really know what to do with that information. Don't know what to do. Is that something to do with me? Is there an epidemic going around or something? Why are there so many ill kids? What's happening there? I don't know. Someone broke a bookcase. These bookcases are nearly broken. More sinks are falling apart. More toilets are falling apart. That computer's on fire. Easel. All these easels have been absolutely vandalised to pieces. Kids, can we just stop vandalising everything? Ah, it's just a constant fight to repair things. Okay. Oh, that looks good. It's all looking good. Yeah, let's just make sure that it's all still in. Oh, no, yeah, that needs repairing. That needs repairing. That needs repairing. Okay. Right. Is everything looking good? Everything kind of looks fine. They're getting on with it. Right. Yeah, let's rush time on until this is finished or the year ends. Now, given that a day has just passed pretty much just there, right then, while I've been faffing about repairing all those things, um, yeah, I, I think we might be in for the end of the year because there's only three days left. So, do you know what? I'm just going to treat us to a couple of extra workers. Two more workers to get this stuff done. We can always fire them later on. So, what I'll do is, we'll just we'll just speed time on. We'll just absolutely blast time forward until something, either this is done or we get to the end of the year. Because there's nothing else for us to do, apart from obviously keep repairing all the things that are falling apart. But other than repairing simply every single object that's in the entire school, um, which, which, yeah, is, is, is great fun. It's, it's the best fun I've ever had. Um, and uh, yeah, there's not that much else to do. So we'll just... Oh, 86. 86 ill students today. It's come down quite a bit. That's fine. Um, yeah, we'll we'll just, just keep it running until something happens. I've been watching the builder guys, and it would help if their pattern of work was slightly more consistent. So one of them will come over here and go, I'll do a floor tile here. And then he'll go all the way over here and go, I'll do a floor tile here. And they go all the way back to here and go, I'll do a floor tile here. So just do all the ones that are next to each other. Just do it in a nice systematic, obvious, logical pattern. So that these guys, they're in that room. And then he's running over here. Where's he going to go? He's going to go and put in that locker for no discernible reason. And then he's going to go. And where is he going? He is going home. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a nice time. See you tomorrow. I've also just realized we can get this. We can get our $2,500 advance and $2,500 completion bonus and 20 prestige for getting 300 students because we've got 320, which is nice. So let's do that. Yay. And we might as well take this one on when it will just sit there. It'll just sit there until we get to 500 students. So let's take that. It gives us two and a half grand. That's fine. I know it's 500. At uh, 500, 5,000. Five grand. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think the, the builder guys are slowly getting around to stuff. They are slowly getting around to stuff, although they are still obsessing over random bits of floor all over the place. But I think, I think they have nearly done the floors. Maybe by the end of today, they would have done the floors in these classrooms. Now, maybe I shouldn't have actually told them to do the floors in these classrooms. But never mind, never mind. I mean, it's two o'clock. They've still got another three and a bit hours until they do all this stuff. Oh, my goodness me. Right, I'm going to go and repair everything and we'll see what happens. 
Okay, they're actually getting round to things. The staff lounge is a valid room. Look, it's all done. It's all decked out, which is lovely. The faculty lounge is done. So I'm going to add some extra objects in. I like the little sort of, the, the slightly pointless objects, but I do like these things. So like a bulletin board. I want a bulletin board in each of those rooms for no real reason. I want that. Um, yeah, that that's nice. What else should we have? We've got coffee machines. A college degree. That seems a little bit redundant, doesn't it? I can't bother to put one of those in. What else was that? A motivational poster in each of these. Yeah, let's have that. Let's put a motivational poster just there and there. That's quite fun. I like that. Um, let's also have... Oh, I quite like the, where's the bulletin boards? Bulletin boards could be good in the cafeteria as well if we put them behind the food thing. In fact, let's put them there. Look, four bulletin bulletin boards along there. Uh, and then what else was there? Refrigerator, a potted plant. Look, I do. I love a potted plant, and not a pot plant. I got told off for saying it was a pot plant because apparently in America that's a different thing. In the UK, we just go, yeah, it's a pot plant. Whereas, uh, yeah, apparently in America, a pot plant is is something is something very much different. So, um, yeah, and I've got those in those rooms. I don't know why I haven't sort of added them to the other rooms but there we go so that's nice what else have we got sofa stoves trash cans tellies vending machines water fans. yeah okay so it's just those little sort of incidental things college degree i'm gonna put a college degree in the principal's office because the principal can show off oh but it doesn't really fit on that other the top wall okay let's put a college degree thing just there and um yeah it's gonna get to the end of the end of the um end of the year it is actually gonna get to the end of the year and we're gonna have the exams now look they're, they're working in here we might need some more cooks Bop, bop, a couple more cooks, throw a couple more cooks in. Yep, lovely. Um, yeah, because this canteen is in use, even though even though it's not actually technically finished. <laughs> they're still, oh, they're, they're busy eating. Could you maybe put the tables and stuff in? You know, even though it's not really finished, they're still, you know, they're still using it, which is, which is brilliant. And the staff cafeteria is finished. That's a room that's complete. The kitchen's looking good. Loads of stuff's broken, but I'm not that bothered right now. I'll mend it after we get our results. So it's results time. It is results time. Now, I'm quite encouraged by these numbers. These numbers are good numbers. I like those numbers. That's got to be encouraging. So let's see if we can go up from our slightly dismal 301st. Let's see if we can go up. Let's see if we can go up in the world with our lovely new addition here. It took us, yeah, it took us pretty much a whole school year to construct a new uh, a new canteen, uh, cafeteria, staff cafeteria, kitchen, two rooms there, and then a couple of empty classrooms. Wow. Final exams are ongoing. Please do well, kids. Please do well. That is rubbish. Oh, that is just terrible. Okay, they've made the learning harder in this branch then, have they? So 60% of freshmen passed. 63. 37% of juniors passed. What are you guys doing? And 77% of seniors. That is absolutely terrible. So Arnold Talaga failed in everything. Arnold! What are you doing, man? Did you even bother to turn up? Louise White failed in everything. <laughs> Darren Waits failed in everything. You didn't pass in any any of the things. Whereas you passed in four and failed two. So history and PE. What did you fail? Art. Oh my goodness me. Did anyone pass everything? Yay, well done, Corey. Oh, there's on there. At least there's someone that's half good out there. An evaluation. Well, I don't imagine this is going to go very well. Delinquency F. Oh, it's all gone wrong. 260. Oh, well, there we go. We're higher than we were. <laughs> We've moved from 272nd to 301st up to 266. Lovely. So the delinquency, uh, an F, we get plus 50. Yet graduate pedigree, a D, we lose minus 100 prestige. You go figure. I don't know what's going on there. So we gained overall 100 prestige. 4,000 monies we get given. And we are between Bentley Hills which sounds very la -de -da, and Lane County, which just sounds like it couldn't be bothered to name it excitingly. Okay, right. this That's intriguing. Next school year. Okay, we need to figure out what student numbers we've got now and all that kind of stuff again. But do you know what? Yeah, we're in the build phase. Now, we can save it in the build phase now. I've tried it before. We can save it in the build phase, so it's all fine. We've got ourselves 163 grand. It might be time. We're going to figure out the transferees. So figure out what the students we've got and where. And like we've got 93. We've got 93 students in year one now. Isn't that our capacity? Is that not a capacity for year one? I think that might be as many as we can handle, possibly. So, um, yeah, I think it is. Hang on. Order it by year. The first four are class size zero. That doesn't tell us the actual 
Cl oh, I thought that meant... Oh, botherations. <laughs> okay, what I've done there is I've misunderstood Classer. I've assumed... Oh, I wonder how many of you were shouting at me when that was happening earlier on. I thought that that was our, that was our capacity. So Classroom 1 could hold 24 people. And Classroom 7 can hold 24 people. But no, that's how many there are because that class size is zero. Oh, actually, no. Is that right, though? Classroom 16 is zero because it's got no one in it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Right. Now I'm just going mad. Classroom 10. How many people can that fit in it? Uh, 12, 15, 18, 21. No, I am right. I am right. Oh, phew. Phew. Okay. So what we'll do is we shall finish up for now because we've been playing a little while. We'll come back and we'll sort out the capacity of our classrooms. Oh, there we go. There's the other classroom. I was thinking, why have we only got four? Well, we had five. So, um, yeah, we'll sort out the capacity of those classrooms when we've added these in. So when we've put all of those in, we've put all the chairs and all the seats and everything in those classrooms, we'll then know how many more students we can transfer in and then what's going on with that. We'll get a better picture of what's happening. And then the builder guys need to build more lockers along there because that's going to be a big wall of lockers. And then... Then it's a case of, I, I don't quite know what we need to do. We need to repair everything again, which is a little bit tedious. But, I mean, yeah, that's fine. We'll get that sorted. Auto repair option would be very welcome indeed. That would be really useful for an auto repair. Just have one builder guy go around repairing something. Or have, like, a some repairing handyman role or something. I don't know. But that would be handy. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, we'll come back. We'll sort that out. And then we'll see how we get on next year. And hopefully we can get into the top half. I want to break into 250. We did okay before it all went wrong. Now we're stuck back down here again. And delinquency. So maybe we need some more monitors as well. We'll get some of those in. But that will do for now. If you have enjoyed this slightly disorganized rabble of a video. Because we have been all over the shop. Then please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe. To keep up to date with how the Geek Cupboard Academy comes along. But for now thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. I really hope I don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever. Because I would feel like a terrible person. Hello, robot. And I shall call you Alan. Still some homeless people. Still hungry people. Still sick people. Okay. If you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop.